Okay, everybody, welcome back to the Massachusetts Central Radio Show. I'm your humble host, Mike Camo, here on January 27th, 2020, here for the 38th episode of the channel and of this new format here in the new year. Um, yeah, guys, the last time I recorded was Friday night, and I have... Uh, and, um, may I say a lot has happened, uh, in the last three days, um, uh, something, some significant stuff, some things not, um, I hope you guys are enjoying, um, I hope you're enjoying the beginning of your week, um, so, uh, so, uh, hello everybody, um, uh, usually, uh, usually I start off, uh, pretty strong and then I usually... Uh, and, and usually I go right into the topics, but I want to start off the broadcast uh, talking about uh, the recent death we experienced. Well, we all experienced, um, well, we didn't experience it, the, uh, the loss of a sports legend, um, great basketball player, um, very, very great athlete in the name the uh, form of Kobe Bryant, uh, Los Angeles Laker, and uh, five-time champion. I think he won two gold medals with uh, Team USA. Um, I was not old enough to experience those teams, I believe. Um, but uh, for those of you who do not know, Mr. Bryant and a few and a few others in his on on his uh, in a Sikorsky uh, helicopter crashed uh in california uh on sunday um my condolences and my prayers go out to the bryant family and um uh and everybody else uh that is a huge loss um uh you watched him play when i was younger i remember him playing on the lakers for a long long time and it was him and shaquille o'neal and the rest of them and uh, it's a huge loss. Um, he was one of the he was one of the all time greats in the game. Um, I his um, his ability to play and uh, uh, keep his team um, in contention. And uh, uh, he absolutely dominated um, back when him and Shaquille and Hill were. I can remember they were ins they were an unstoppable force, you know, um, but um, uh, it, it's just in, in, he was taken from us way too young um, at the age of I think it was forty one. Uh, if somebody's gonna correct me in the comment section, but um, I think it was forty one. Um, he was um, you know great basketball player. Um, always loved watching him. Uh, play, even though I was a Celtics fan, I always admire Mr. Bryant, um, his ability to play, and uh, his contributions to the game, and it was always entertaining to watch him play um, against the Celtics and against everybody else, and to see him play against and beat everybody else in the world when he was playing as, uh, as an Olympic athlete back in the 1990s. Um, uh, I know there's a lot of negative speculation, uh, towards Mr. Bryant, and, um, you know, I'm not going to focus on that right now. I don't think that's the, I don't think that's the first thing that comes to mind, as I know, I know he has a lot of, he's done a lot of bad stuff, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of athletes out there that have done negative things, and, um, you know, it's, it, it may not, you know, it, you know, it, it, I just want to put this out there. Even the greatest people, even the most talented people, and, uh, you know, some great minds make mistakes, and that's how they keep getting better and better, you know. Um, he's, you know, he, it, he had that black mark on him, but he's moved on. He's done very well in the last couple of years. Um, he's, um, done much more than just being a player. Um, so I don't really, 
um, buy into the negative aspect of it. I just want to say, for all for all of you who are sitting here, for or sitting, watching the news, saying, "Oh, he deserved it. He did this. He did that." Stop. That's not the reason why uh, I'm doing this broadcast. I'm just here to tell you guys: stop. Remember his remember his good playing ability. How much of a contribution he did to the game. He put us on the map internationally with his talent in the on the Olympic team. Um, he he was part of the country. He was part of the force that dominated international basketball playing when we were playing in the Olympics. So I, I think he's he's a legend. He will be known with uh, Jabbar, Jordan, Larry Bird, um, Magic Johnson. Even though I know Magic Johnson has a questionable and shady things going on that went on in his life. So um, I think that's for other people to decide and to uh, just leave that be. That's part of their personal life. Um, the choices they make off the court um, are uh, subject to it. I'm not saying it's right what some of these uh, professional players do. But, you know, it's, they're human beings just like us. They're going to make mistakes. It's not an, I, there's nothing we can do about it. So, and um, the thing about between, I think I find a parallel between Magic and um, Kobe. Yeah, they had some questionable uh, behaviors when they were playing um, and in their uh, time on this earth. But Magic... Not a lot of people, a lot of people are like, oh, Magic, um, oh, Magic, uh, for those of you who don't know, Magic slept with a lot of women, um, but, um, and, and he got AIDS, and everybody's like, oh, yes, everybody started saying the same thing, Magic's still alive, pretty much, and a lot of people are saying, oh, he's rich, because he has a billion, zillion dollars, so he can afford it, like, we can't, folks, there's a, but there's a lot of people who have HIV and AIDS, the disease, and they are still alive today because of some drugs. They're expensive, but there's a lot of people that are expensive. For him to rebound and come back from that, um, I will just say more power to him and for Mr. Bryant for coming back from his problem. Um, I see more power to him as well, which is why um, role models will always have their troubles. And they're always going to come back and be strong. So, um, I just want to give a minute, moment of silence for Mr. Bryant. Um, pray for his soul. Let it rest easy. And um, uh, starting now, guys. Yeah, I just, that's a moment of silence for Mr. Bryant. Um, as I said, one of the game's legends. And one of, maybe one of those people that maybe did wrong in their life, but recovered and became stronger because of it. I know there's a lot of jokes surrounding him, but I just want the haters and all the um, social justice warriors out there to just stop. 
this is a basketball legend that we've lost. A lot of people do not, a lot of people are like, oh, he, he gets paid this amount of money, and he does this and he does that. That is not the reason why I'm honoring his memory. It's because I had a chance to watch him play, and I thought he was a wonderful, I thought he was a wonderful basketball player. I think he has gotten better. Now, obviously, the media is going to drum up a lot of negative crap against him, and uh, the the media has already went on. TMZ, I believe, already announced the death way before, which is horrible because I I because they um you know because they you know because the media paparazzi do that uh, and that, that sort of thing. Um, and I don't agree with that either, but. I'm just saying every media outlet just leave him alone. He's remember him for being the basketball legend and remember him as one of those guys that had trouble but he recovered. And um many celebrities have come back from adversity. Josh Hamilton. For those of you who don't know Josh Hamilton, he was a he's a he was a baseball player that had drug addiction. He came back, probably one of the greatest players while he played. Um, don't know where he is now, um, uh, and f for me that is um, that is a great uh, um, for me that is a good recovery right there, um, and everything else. And there's a bunch of other celebrities that have made recoveries and everything, and um, you know it's one of those things. So. Uh, Mr. Bryant, wherever you're, when you're, your soul that rests in heaven right now, um, hopefully it, you live peacefully and um, God bless you and um, hopefully your family um, you know, and I give the condolences to the family out there because that is a nasty loss, a very early loss uh, because his daughters, whatever father to grow up with, it's a nasty thing. Uh, it, you just don't want to wish that on anybody. That's the reason why I'm not going to go into the negatives because he was a father and everything, and he did recover. And you know, it's just one of those things. So, as I said, if he made a wrong in his life, but he obviously corrected it and he got better at his life. Um, uh, I also wanted to say that. Um, for like the last two, three minutes. Um, I just wanted to say that I actually uh, worked for my dad again today. Um, I think this is the... I think this is like the... I think this is the sixth day of work for him. Um, I think this is the sixth to the seventh day of work for him. Um, right now, as I said, I'm working with him uh, so I can learn a trade. Uh, I told you guys already I love retail, but I'm trying to get off into a trade and obviously um, get experience from it. This is not for um, this is not for um, this is for a gain in knowledge. A, Game for a wealth and knowledge in a trade, um, and uh, for me to move forward. Uh, I'm not in this for any monetary, um, monetary, mon um, monetary um, gains. I'm here for a uh, gain in uh, knowledge, and it's going well. Um, I've done well the, the first six days that I've been with him. I, I'm doing far better with him than I'm doing with uh, my other group. A lot better than my other group. And I'm, getting, and I'm growing at a really good rate. Um, I'm just at the beginning of my days with my dad and the trades. So it's going well. I expect it to get harder and more challenging as it goes. And that's what I like. And I think it's a better challenge than what I have at Target. Um, I think the retail world is the merry-go-round gone down. I just don't think it's 
I don't mean the furry one. Um, Target will hate me for that, but um, yeah, you know, uh, they'll have to uh, they'll have to live with that uh, truth. Um, they can't seem to get their act together, and it's all married women and stuff. And like, Score is not doing very well, man, um, leadership wise. I actually got called in today, um, but I wasn't around because I was already working on the cape uh, for an hour and ten minutes uh, when they called me because they called me at night ten today. So I'll obviously have to figure out what they want uh, tomorrow, and we'll go from there. So yeah, um, everybody, Mike Long here for another uh, MC Radio Show episode. Uh, this is episode thirty-eight. Um, I'm your humble host, and as usual, everybody, long live America, you bless America, along with uh, our freedoms and our rights. Uh, pray for my grandparents' spirits, pray for uh, Kobe Bryant's spirit, pray for um, my grandmother, and also pray for Tom, Megan, and April. Let them overcome their obstacles and let them persevere and let them stay strong. Everybody, I'll see you guys on Wednesday night for episode 30. Episode 39. All right, everybody. Peace. Good night. And this ends the podcast for today. We're on the Massachusetts Central Radio Show. Peace out, everybody.